click on subscribe button and then press the bell icon hello friends welcome to my youtube channel goran psu jobs india the channel where you get regular updates about the jobs related to government sector or psu sector apart from this you get the knowledge about life at psus and even the salary slips of psus so in today's video we will discuss about the salary structure salary slip of coal india limited uh, you must have seen my regular videos related to coal india question papers life at coal india so in continuation today we will discuss about its salary structure so scenario one january 2020 which is the current month so if you see this components so in the left column we have components and then in the right column we have the uh, values of the uh, components so this is for the management training first year training considering the time frame of january 2020 so why i am saying the time frame because in the salary components so we have dearness allowance or, or da factor which is variable and it varies every quarter in the case of psus because public sector units they follow the industrial dearness allowance or ida pay scale while in the case of pure government it, the da increases every six months but this is not the case with the da of psu sector because da of psu sector varies every quarter so in the last quarter it was 14.8 so there has been a increase of 2.4 percent likely which we have heard from the uh, sources so it has become 17.2 percent of dearness allowance from january 2020 so in that regards we will uh, discuss about the uh, what is what would be the monthly salary gross pay for uh, management trainee uh, first year during january 2020 considering this time frame so uh, if you can see pay scale pay scale is 50000 to 160000 grade is e2 basic pay is 50000 so first component dearness allowance is 17.2% of basic pay it is from january 2020 so if you simply do the math 17.2% of basic pay 50000 it comes out to be 8600 the next is uh, M epf that is M uh, which is the employer contribution that is coming out to be 12 percent of basic pay plus da so if you add basic pay and da which is which comes out to 58600 so 12 percent of this amount is coming as 7032 the next component is house rent allowance and house rent allowance also varies depends from cities to cities so generally in the case of psu sector we have three kind of cities class x city class y city and class z city i will just explain you about these three kinds of cities uh, in last in the later part of my video uh, i have a pdf which i have uh, downloaded from coal india website where i will show you all the allowances and these class x city y city and z city okay so uh, coming to hra which i told so i am assuming 24 percent for class x city so it comes out to be 24 percent of basic pay uh, it is coming as 12,000. okay the next component is the box or other allowances which is fixed in the maharatnas uh, in the coal sector this is 35 percent of basic pay which is comes out to be 15,000 okay you can simply do the math 35 percent of the basic pay which is 50,000. so it is coming as 15,000. the next component is performance related pay so uh, let me tell you friends that performance pay is uh, not being paid monthly but performance related pay it is paid uh, in after the financial year is over okay uh, so in this payslip which i'm showing you i have shown two parts one is the monthly gross pay which is including the performance related pay and the other is monthly gross pay excluding the performance related pay because performance related pay is paid as a annual component after the end of a financial year 
and uh, uh, what is the maximum potential of a performance let it pay it is 40 percent of the basic so if it is paid annually so it is 40 percent of the annual basic okay so uh, this i just uh, told you for explanation so if you just do the maths if we are including prp so it is coming 20000 which is 40 percent of basic which is 50000 so if you add all these components so including performance related pay the monthly gross pay of a management trainee first year during current time which is january 2020 it would be 112632 but uh, prp is not a component of a monthly uh, uh, salary slip so you will be getting monthly gross pay excluding prp which would be 92632 in the case of a management trainee considering the time frame january 2020 okay so but the point is you all guys have to give the cil examination in the february or march 2020 and most likely you all will join in the month of june or july 2020 that's why i have made three scenarios the first scenario i just discussed current scenario which is of january 2020 the next scenario is when you all guys will join uh, that is most probably july 2020 so since i told you that da increases every quarter so in july 2020 da would increase further so depending on that scenario let's uh, discuss now the what would you sell this slip when you will join scenario 2 july 2020 okay so in july 2020 depending upon the trend analysis of the dns allowance your dns allowance from july 2020 would be around 22 percent plus minus of basic pay so considering this component now i'm directly telling you the figures your basic pay is 50,000, uh, DA would come out to be as 11,000, EPF employer contribution would come out as 7,320, house rent allowance if you are not getting the township of coal India, so that that is 12,000, then perks and other allowances that comes out to be 35% of basic pay which is coming as 15,000 and again PRP since your basic is fixed uh because one year has not completed so it is twenty thousand next is prp uh if we include prp in the monthly gross pay so in the scenario of july 2020 your monthly gross would be one lakh fifteen thousand three hundred twenty and if you remove prp uh so for the month of july 2020 when you all guys will join Coal India Limited in that scenario your monthly gross pay would be around 95,320 rupees so again friend I am saying you here I have added house rent allowance component of a class X city which is 24% of the basic and for class Y city it is 16% and class Z city it is just 8% so since uh, most of the locations of uh, coal india are uh, in remote areas so mostly it comes under z or y cities so the base uh, the hra percentage would be uh, lower than 24 percent which which would be 16 percent or 8 percent only in the case if you are not getting township or uh, company's accommodation only in that case you get the house rent allowance so but i have heard mostly you will be able to get the uh, company's accommodation of coal india limited or township of coal india limited okay guys so if you can see the, the amount is very very good in in the starting uh, of july 2020 when you will joining coal india so you can see directly that uh, the monthly gross pay except prp is also around 95320 so it is gross pay friends let me tell you it is without any deductions there will be certain deductions of income tax bf gratuity many things so this is the gross pay okay so you should understand this this is your gross pay so now we will discuss about the next scenario scenario 3 that is july 2021 when you will complete your one year of training and you will start earning uh, pay scale of 60,000 to 1 lakh 80,000 that is you will promote to e3 level or your basic pay will become 60,000 
so in that case again trend analysis with respect to dearness allowance your dearness allowance is expected to increase to 33 percent of basic pay plus minus so in that case same mathematics your basic pay is 60,000 your dearness allowance is 19,800 your employer contribution for PF will, would come out as 9,576 then your HRA for XCT will come out as 14,400 your perks and other allowances cafeteria approach 35% uh, of basic which is coming out as 18,000 then your performance related pay monthly if we calculate it it is coming as 24,000 so the catch if you are including your performance related pay as a part of your monthly gross pay it is coming as 1,45,776 and if you exclude your performance related pay your monthly gross pay would be 1,21,776 which is awesome amount for at this level so which is awesome salary you are getting after joining coal india after completing one year uh so so now i will show you the pdf which i have downloaded from coal india's website so friends let's explore this pdf which i have downloaded from coal india's website which is dated 8 8 2018 but it has various relevant facts so we will focus on the uh, relevant parameters which i want to show you guys so i'm just scrolling down yeah the increment part so first of all you should know that after uh, the management trainees complete their first year they are directly uh, inducted into the pay scale of 60000 uh, to 180000 but after that every year there will be the increment of 3% on their basic pay so accordingly all their salary components will also increase so this you should know that once you enter the first once you enter into the 60000 dollar basic pay after one year of this pay you will have a annual increment of 3% on your basic pay and this is fixed increment okay depending upon your performance rating of good or above okay and about dearness allowance i have already told you that uh, in case of the public sector enterprises uh, your dearness allowance varies or uh, increases every quarter unlikely as with as it the as with the case with the pure government sector where dearness allowance increases every six months so currently uh, before january in the case of psus dearness allowance is 14.8 percent and in this January 2020, it is likely to be 17.2%, okay, increase of 2.4%, which we have heard from the different sources. Yeah, so the next thing is house rent allowance, which I was saying you guys, there are three kind of cities, X cities, Y cities, and Z class cities. So you can see if population of 50 lakh and above, those are X class cities population of 5 lakh to 50 lakhs those are y class cities and population below 5 lakh those are z class cities so house rent allowance will also hamper or vary with the, the, the class of cities it is 8 percent of basic pay for z class cities 16 percent of basic pay for y class cities and 24 percent of basic pay for x class cities okay so it is highest for x class 24 percent y 16 percent z 8 percent Okay, and they have said that once the uh, dearness allowance increases 50%, then house rent allowance will become 27, 18, 19 in the X, Y, Z. If it crosses 25%, and if it crosses 50%, it will become 30, 20, 10. Okay. Then the next benefit which you get uh, after joining the Maharatna PSUs or any PSU is the least accommodation. Okay. So company can provide you lease residential accommodation to executives in the cities where the company is not able to provide you the residential accommodation in its own township. In that case, you cannot for lease accommodation as well or you can just simply rent out a proper rent the property. So in that case, you get the house rent allowance. So in case of leased accommodation, uh, these are the benefits. So if the DA is up to 25%, which is the current scenario, 
of uh, January 2020 you can get the rental ceilings or you can get a flat or any house up till 31.5% of basic pay okay and if da crosses 25% you can get uh, uh, house on lease accommodation up to 34.5% of basic pay and if da crosses 50% you can have a house uh, on lease accommodation up to 37.5% of your basic pay okay this is for the x class it is similarly for y similarly for z in case of uh, leased accommodation there is a house rent recovery so company will recover certain uh, portion from your salary which is 7.5% uh, of your basic pay in case of x class city and 5% of basic pay in case of y class city and 2.5% of basic pay in case of z class city coming to perks and allowances i have already told you that perks and allowances are admissible to different categories of executives under the concept of cafeteria approach uh, subject to a ceiling of 35% of basic pay okay so your your perks and allowances are fixed up to the ceiling of 35% of basic pay so under the concept of cafeteria approach executives are allowed to choose the set of perks and allowances so they can they call, uh, there is a uh, several list of uh, perks which are available but employee can choose up to the limit of 35 percent of basic pay which we will uh, which i will show you as well so other allowances and perks which are apart from uh, cafeteria approach uh, we have work-based hardship duty allowance so the payment of work-based hardship duty allowance is up to 12 percent of basic pay per month uh, for example duty in underground mines because it is a hardship because certain hardship can happen in underground mines so in that case you are paid 12 percent of basic pay extra as a hardship allowance then you have location based compensatory allowance for serving in northeast states and ladakh region in that case you get extra 10 percent of your basic pay uh, for executives, if they are posted in northeastern states such as Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland, Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Sikkim, and Ladakh region, then in, we have uh, non practicing allowance for the case of medical officers. They get uh, non practicing allowance up to 20% of basic pay per month for the medical officers. They, they, this is called as NPA. So, mainly uh, the doctor should not practice on their own. Uh, for that purpose they get extra 20 percent of basic pay then i already told you performance related pay the maximum potential is 40 percent of your basic pay if you if you are considering monthly and and 40 percent of your annual basic if you are considering uh, annually so several factors are there in considering the performance related pay uh, which you will get to know after you join coal india limited because this is a variable part then again you have certain benefits which comes under the superannuation or during your retirement so there are several perks benefits kind of a pension scheme superannuation scheme so that you will uh, get even you get the medical uh, benefits after your uh, retirement or after your superannuation which is very very good thing in case of the public sector units then corpus of medical benefits to, for the retirees as i told you even after retirement you get the medical benefits uh, here it is shown for the board level executives they get corporate club membership also for up to max of two clubs so several benefits and allowances have already showed you guys so let's quickly move on to uh, the x y and z cities which i was uh, uh, about to say you so these are the listed states and classified cities as x and y you can see and have a look at these else i have already showed you the definition of class x y and z cities the next is which is important the next is are the perks and allowances under cafeteria approach so as i was saying you that perks and allowances under cafeteria approach is up to a maximum ceiling of 35 percent of basic so you have a number of listed allowances and perks but you have to choose according to your wish 
and the ceiling is 35 percent so you have home furnishing allowances you have house upkeep allowances so like home furnishing allowance seven percent of basic pay then housekeep up allowance five percent of basic pay domestic assistance allowance four percent of basic pay cook allowance four percent of basic pay ltc lltc allowances conveyance allowances four percent of basic pay vehicle maintenance allowance eight percent of basic pay driver allowance four percent of basic pay transport assistance four percent of basic pay per month children education allowance you have for study in schools two percent of basic pay for post school study in college three percent of basic pay for undergraduate or postgraduate study in professional institutions ten percent of basic pay so depending upon the time when you are uh, having a job in core india you can decide on a cafeteria approach because once you have uh, you have a family you have your own child you can opt for this children education allowance next is hostel allowance we have professional development allowance internet allowance reimbursement professional membership fees entertainment allowance lunch allowance through meal vouchers kit or dress allowance laundry washing allowance interest subsidy gardener allowance coal industry allowance so there are hell number of allowances and perks and this is the option because as i told you that the limit the ceiling limit of cafeteria approach for perks and allowances is 35 percent of basic pay so you have to give the list of the perks and allowances which you are opting for a particular financial year and uh, you have to add up all the percentage basic up to 35 percent only and you have to uh, certify that and you have to give your signature and it will get deposited or submitted in the hr department and these are the underground allowances to the executives uh, if the posting is in colliery level or if the posting is in sub area level so there you can see the underground allowance and what are the conditions and the executives entitled for underground allowances who are entitled underground allowances 12 percent of basic month and four percent of basic month for non-technical so this is the scenario you can have here and again we have uh, gms and cgms who hold charge of this area they also get some extra pay so you can have idea here company headquarters what is the extra payment eight percent of basic pay here so guys i've already discussed you uh, on the benefits of joining coal india limited there are a hell number of uh, uh, pays and perks only the point is uh, sometimes uh, uh, the areas where you get the posting that are not uh, uh, areas like the metro cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata or Bangalore. So that is a different thing. So it's your personal choices. And I must say those uh, aspirants who are aspiring for their first job, it is the dream job for them because you should not bother about the place of posting. Initially, you should get the exposure and you should get the learning and after that you can switch on to next psu or any other company so for those people who are eyeing their first job it is in my view the dream company for you and you should prepare hard for this you can just uh, go through my other videos where i have shared uh, question papers past year question papers of coal india limited paper one which are common for all these streams that, that is going to certainly help you you can simply search all the videos in my channel and see question papers there in Coal India Limited. Uh, apart from this, for others, indeed is a very very good opportunity because being associated with Maharatna, you certainly get several perks, benefits, allowances and social recognition and uh, it gives you tremendous exposure, it gives you a a tag in your resume for your next organization if you are eyeing for a switch so overall it is a going to be a very very good start for your career or very very good uh, jump to your career if you join coal india limited so that's it friends those uh, of you who are viewing my channel or videos first time i request you all to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon there uh, and kindly share this video among your network in whatsapp group or facebook or everywhere you want 
so that's it friends i will certainly come with new videos for you guys that will certainly help you uh, so that's it for today have a nice day thank you thanks for watching do not forget click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon like comment and share see you next time